Daniel Wilkinson needed medical treatment he never received, and it cost him his life. The U.S. Army veteran who served two tours in Afghanistan was rushed to the hospital in Belleville, Texas, with a serious but treatable condition, gallstone pancreatitis. But with the hospital overflowing with COVID patients, there were no beds available. And with hospitals across the state filled up, there was no hope of a transfer. Fluid backed up into his liver and pancreas, and his organs shut down. We truly believe that if we would have got him out of here in uh, the normal time frame, he would have got to be in Houston and he would have survived. Hospitals in Texas are overwhelmed, just as they were at the peak of the pandemic back in January. As of last week, there were 13,790 COVID patients in hospitals across the Lone Star State, a vast majority of them unvaccinated. Texas is just one of a number of southern states where hospital capacity is plummeting and where vaccination rates lag behind the rest of the country. COVID patients are taking up more than half of the ICU beds in Texas, compared with about 30 percent nationwide. The state's governor, Greg Abbott, who himself tested positive for COVID-19 last month, says he supports the use of vaccines but opposes vaccine mandates. He's also come under criticism for banning schools and local governments from enacting COVID prevention measures, such as the wearing of masks, and threatening anyone who defies the ban with a $1,000 fine.